Good morning. It's another beautiful Saturday. So put on the brakes, grab a cup of coffee, and join the conversation. Because it's once again time for Coffee Breaks with Steve. Welcome to Coffee Breaks with Steve on this Saturday, the first day of April, 2023. I, of course, am Steve. And if you're tuning in live, please make sure to say hi in the comments so we know that you're here. And then once we get into our topic, uh, we'll get you to join in on the conversation because God knows we need to hear from you. Good morning, everybody. Corey Ann, good morning. Good to see you. Kimberly, good morning. Uh, after Moon and happy Catter Day. Uh, Carissa, good morning. Jerry, uh, Kathy McCormick, good morning to you. Kathy Glavin is here. Good morning, Kathy. I have to always make sure I say hello to Kathy. Rick Venturi, good morning to you, Rick. Good to see you. Glad to have everybody here joining us today. It's been a great week. Um, a lot going on, a lot to talk about. Carol Glavin, hi, honey. How are you? It's good to have you here. Jay Zetterval, very nice. Today is a good day to die. I'm working on taxes. No dying, Jerry and Jay, please. The taxes will get done. Thank you. Thank you for the comments on the hair. I did a little bit of styling, a little bit of product this morning. So it's. I'm glad you like it. It's just kind of a new look for me. Carla Venturi is here. Good morning, Carla, my lovely sister. Well, let's get into it. Today is uh, Saturday, the 1st of April, new month. Glad everybody is here and doing well. Uh, we're going to have a, a topic of conversation today, talking about identity. And what does identity mean? And what does that mean to you and, uh, and the people around you? So we're going to... Uh, we're going to start by talking about some special days that are this week. Of course, if you have any special days, please do put them in the comments so we can see them as well. Okay, so today, April 1st, World Spaghetti Harvest Day. Um, again, I think this is uh, mostly an Italian thing, but it has drifted over to the Americas within the last uh last few years, but again, harvesting uh, spaghetti, very important. So all of us can take part in uh, that delicious treat, however you like to do it. Uh, tomorrow, April 2nd, Frivolous Lawsuit Appreciation Day. Uh, appreciation may be a strong word in that comment, but um, it is a special day to honor those frivolous lawsuits. I think we all remember the hot coffee McDonald's lawsuit. Um, that was one of the big ones that came through. And uh, yes, Carla, that is how spaghetti is made. Absolutely. April 3rd, National Chocolate Mousse Day. Again, maybe not exactly what you were thinking of, but chocolate mousse, mead, love too. Not your typical chocolate mousse, but again, this one may be a little bit more filling. And his name is Lenny. So when you, uh, when you eat, give thanks to Lenny. Uh, April 4th this week, 35th annual pigging, piglet punting competition um, held in the Midwest. But I do believe uh, ESPN does cover this, possibly just ESPN Plus online. But uh, this is last year's winner, obviously. Look at the form. Amazing. Very nice. Uh, April 5th, do, don't sleep with your feet outside the covers night. I think this is a day for all days, actually, because no one, no one wants to look up and see that or have anything touching their little toes. Again, goes along with piglets. Piglets, toes, pigs, you get it. All right. Uh, April 6th, Homemade Fireworks Appreciation Day. Again. Appreciation might be a bit of a stretch, but in most cases, things do go well. 
and uh, April 7th of this week, Dig for Buried Treasure Day. Oh, special day. Very good day. One knuckle deep. Very nice. Uh, birthdays this week. Uh, April 4th, Lottie Da is having a birthday. Very good. Very good. Happy birthday, Lottie Da. April 5th, Frank Lee Madeer is having a birthday. Uh, he and puppy celebrating. And then April 7th, Carissa Wheelock, my beautiful daughter's birthday. Uh, Carissa and family were just here last week. We had a great time. So um, back home, I think she doesn't just want, she's she's very shy. She's very shy. She doesn't want to do that. Any special days this week? Don't lie about it. Only real special days. So anything that you do, please email to cbws cbwsteve at comcast.net that's obviously coffee breaks with steve at comcast.net all right uh let's see let's see looking at the some of the uh some of the comments here holiday of toddlers everywhere chris is that uh, uh dig for buried treasure or the punting of the pigs i think you meant the digging for treasure that's good that's good uh huh coffee mcdonald's was not frivolous at all that is true that is true, Corianne. Hi, Corianne. Glad to see you here. All right. Well, like I said, we do have a topic today. The topic today is talking about identity, your identity, how people view their identity, and how identities are formed. So those things are things we want to talk about today. Um, who do you think you are? Again, it's all brought out by our surroundings, possibly, by the people we surround ourselves with. Uh, we're going to bring a guest on today. We have a special guest in waiting. Um, I do believe he is ready to come on. So please, if you would, please welcome Steve. Good morning, Steve. How are you today? I'm good, Steve. How are you? Oh, doing great, Greg. Doing great. Happy April 1st to you. Happy April 1st. We're now in April. It doesn't seem like the year has just flown by it seems like i i feel like we just had the entire family over here in spokane for christmas right and now right and we're now here we are the way through four one twenty three third of the way third of the way four one twenty three that's great yeah that's great you're looking very looking very well today looking very rested thank you yes yeah very nice uh, i might I, I am due for a haircut but i i appreciate that um you know, sometimes you just work with what you've got. Right. Exactly. I completely understand. I completely yeah. understand. So we're talking about identity today. Obviously. Yes, that was a really that was a great film um, that actually that was it's a, a classic for me. It's a 2003 mystery thriller starring right. John Cusack and Amanda Peet. Directed I think by right, I think Gold. the late great Ray Liotta was also in that movie. I believe he was. Yes. Focusing, uh, the tagline. focusing on identity. Yes, Very good. yes. Excellent Very good. actor. Uh, the um, tagline of that reads, stranded at a desolate Nevada motel during a nasty rainstorm, 10 strangers become acquainted with each other when they realize that they're being killed off one by one. Almost so, a very definition of identity. The very def. Right? Thank you. Yes. yes. Yeah, that I was mean, what I thought when I read they, it. They take, obviously, a more dramatic a dramatic look at identity. A little bit more. Slightly um, more, yeah. You know, given given the circumstances, they uh, you know, let's let's take a look. So Webster's defines identity as the distinguishing character or personality of a vehicle. A vehicle, individual, both of those things, or a vehicle. You could be identified by your vehicle, possibly. Uh yes. Yeah, I know several people who do that. Exactly. So again, that movie, identity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right there. Identity thief. Identity. Another thief. movie. I, I, well, Steve, have you ever had your identity stolen? Not stolen, borrowed. Sure. More so than stolen. It was sure. given back. Um, okay. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's it's a how you look at it type of thing. Possibly. Exactly. Exactly. Again, I, I don't. I've never had my identity stolen. I mean, I, I'm sure every now and again, you know, you lose a credit card and you have to sure. cancel it. But I've, I've never sure. had to deal with all of the the nonsense of somebody 
going I don't out think... and trying to be me. Right. No. Try somebody somebody pretending to be you obviously right. is a is a completely different situation that no one wants to have to deal with. No, no. No. Because no one can pull you off like you. Well, one one could hope, right? One would hope exactly. that there aren't too many Steves running around. I think my wife would be a little afraid if there were multiples of me. Um we don't but, know. we don't need that many Steves. It depend I it depends who you ask now. It depends who you mm, ask. That's true. Um that's true. If I ask my brother Scott, he might have a different opinion altogether. He usually does. Usually he, he usually, usually does. does. He usually, usually does. Some lucid, some not so much. But an opinion nonetheless. An opinion nonetheless. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So identity. Yes. I D. Yes. Right? Two I great D. letters of the alphabet, and neither of them are used as frequently as one would think. You would think not, but then but then you look at that. I D. I meaning I. D identification. Yes. Right? Yes, identification. Doing yeah. Doing the heavy doing the heavy lifting, as it were. Yes. In that in that situation. Yeah, really that is yeah, the D does the heavy lift. I So where do you where do you think your identity, Steve, comes from? What, uh, what you know, formed your identity? You know, I I thought about this a lot, not just for today's topic, obviously, but uh I think uh well Analia said it uh last week about this generation. Um, not that I am a millennial, but um this generation being very focused on um, expressing their true selves. I, I can't quite think of the term, but she got at that, that idea of expre uh, expressing true self and, and uh, individualism. And right. I, I know that, that the easy thing and the thing that's often discussed is, is about trying to transcend the labels that we put on ourselves. So it's easy for me to say, I'm a father, I'm a husband, um, uh, I'm a retiree, which is lovely. I'll drink to that, actually. Right. Retirement. Exactly. Drink to that, for sure. Yeah. Um, a churchgoer, a Christian, but uh, a coffee drinker, definitely. But to be able to go past that, it, it's hard to, I think it can be hard to figure out what does it mean to go past that? And I actually saw something. I just happened to stumble on this yesterday. Funny enough, uh, somebody sent me a, a video of, uh, I'm, I'm not sure who the speaker was, but he was doing a sort of a TED talk and talking about how if you want to really get to know yourself, an exercise you can do is to stand in front of a mirror and look yourself in the eyes and uh how difficult it can be for some people just to stand and look themselves in the eyes for multiple right. minutes. If you haven't done this, um, it, it it can be a little shocking to find, probably don't do it as often as you think you do. And then once you become comfortable with looking yourself in the eyes, then just look yourself up and down and begin to ask yourself, who am I? Mm. And it doesn't have to be yeah. out loud necessarily. It can be in your your head, but you might start with the labels, but then you might be able to click into just that piece just beyond. Um, I do that sometimes, not necessarily in my home, looking in a mirror, but maybe looking right. at a, my reflection uh, yeah. in, in a store window. In a public space. And, and look and just, and just say out loud, who am I? Yeah, who am I? I'll, I'll do that often and repeatedly the in a given day. The interesting day. thing is when other people other people then will will sometimes help you out in that instance, especially when you're in that public space. Other people, for better or worse, will have their opinions about oh, who they, you are. They, and they, they will feel tell you. very free to share their comments. But I always come back to the same thing yeah. when I say that. I say, who am I? And and in my answer is is always, I'm Steve. I'm Steve. Right? Yes. Yes, right? that is where I end up at a lot. I'm Steve. That is, that is my identity. I, uh, and I look myself in the eyes and I know it. I, I, boy, I know it. Nothing yeah. better than that. It's a Nothing little hard to, to put into words, but I'm Steve. You, yes, you are. And you're a great, you're, you're a great Steve. As, as are you, Steve. I'll drink to that. 
Hold on. Thank you. So people's identities. Yes. Again, what's formed by you, your your surroundings, your interests, your friends, family, things that make you distinctively you. Yes. The things you're interested in. Um, yes. Outside influences. Um, uh, you know, how how do people view you? So let me ask you this, Steve. Yes. If I were to pull Steve's friends, Steve's family, what are three things that they would say, this is quintessentially Steve? Who Funny is thing Steve? Is I, I, I did this recently because uh, I, I don't know if um, you know this, Steve, but I was taking a class on becoming a voice actor. I think I mentioned it on Coffee Breaks um, yes, you did. a while so. back. And um, and one of the things they had you do is to pull your family and friends and come up with uh, three items. It's almost like you saw my homework. Um, three items to to see what others thought of me when they think Steve. And that was supposed to help me figure out what my um, my marketability is, right? To figure out Sure. When you hear my voice, when you think of me, what what comes to mind that helps right. to kind of determine an area to focus. Right. Because if you cast too wide a net, you may not get anything back. So exactly. uh, I did ask my family and my friends and I really pushed um, my youngest daughter, Shalane, really pushed her and, and kept coming back to her. And she said she was she took her time to think about it. Um, what she say? She said a storyteller, which mm. I think is accurate. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, sure. Absolutely. Storyteller. And not a lot of people, I think, uh, it can hold that title because it, it's it is its own gift, if I may say it. humbly. But it's a it's a gift. Steve is uh, known to spin a yarn. I, now and I again. do spin a yarn, as do you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Take, but she, she said uh, storyteller accepted. and she thought some more. And she said, uh, I think she said creative. Mm, mm -hmm. and and or maybe socks and then the third one was attention whore and i put it in oh, my homework yes i did she she asked me to put it in my homework and uh i did submit that as my homework right and when she found that out she she was appalled but also very proud that i and did submit that as my homework I, true story I, uh, I can i can uh, i accept and i relate to those for yeah. sure again sure. standing in front of the store mirror the reflection and I who who am I? Uh, attention whore has been has been thrown out there a few times. Not going to lie, I, you know I, they I have those that. mirrors now that will uh, talk back to you. The 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 um, uh, programmable mirrors and they can right. actually interact and things and and that must be a kick. I haven't found. Have you used one of those before? You know, Steve, I I have seen them. Uh, I have not used them. Um, Again, I think uh, I, I think I, I'd prefer um, the voices in my head right. responding to me versus the voices coming from um, another machine, <laughs> as it were. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're we're obviously, yeah. you know, we yeah. we 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 have a lot of uh, um, uh, outside influences watching us. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, put in you know put in Jack Daniels into your search bar one time and watch. Watch what comes up on your on your computer. My son repeatedly. could certainly speak to that. Yeah, yeah. Right. He, uh, in his cybersecurity right. knowledge, as you know, yes. Oh, I, and his yeah. Jack Daniels experience, obviously. I mean, right. Yeah. Let's yeah. drink to that so for drink sure. Drink to that. Yes. Well. Yeah. So I think uh, you know, obviously, identity is uh, is big. Uh, it's uh, you know, going back to to the movie you brought up, identity. Yeah. Um, you know, really, really touches on, you know, do you know someone's identity or are, right. or are they going to try and kill you in a hotel? One or the other, a lot. One I, or the I other. think it's, it's a lot more hot and cold than people give it credit for. Sure. Uh, you know, you have these conversations and you drive past people in cars and, and you just don't know, you know, you don't know. You, you make guesses know. until you, you know. You definitely make guesses. You, um, yeah. One more, you know, if we're, 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 if we're talking about uh, movies that touch on identity. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, how you see yourself, how you're perceived, what your identity, born 
the Born series, Born Identity. Born Identity, Born Supremacy, Jason, Jason Born Born. Conspiracy. Never seen them. Never once. Never have. But, nope. But that Matt Damon, right? right? Yes. Is he conflicted? Is he a killer? What is is, he... Does, he, does he know his identity? Right. And, and based and, on these movies, does, does, does not knowing your identity make you want to kill? Or does it just make you great at uh, Brazilian martial arts? When you don't know who you are, does that open up doors, right? They talk about, and right. I know this has been disproven, but uh, they talk about for so long, and it's still a widely held belief that we only use 10% of our brains, uh, right. which has been proven not by myself so i don't know where to point you in terms of research but uh that we we do use a lot more of our brains but that idea of if you could open up past barriers exactly would you then discover more more talents more abilities than uh, maybe what you've boxed yourself into up to now yeah yeah absolutely i think that's you know we're always trying, we're always trying to, to find, you know, new ways to expand as we get older, Steve, you Steve. know, obviously we, we, we have to keep challenging our brain, our mind, um, yes. you know, to, 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 to keep that, that going, um, yes. to make sure that, you know, that, uh, you know, you know, you're still there right in the morning. Right. 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 Wake up. Oh. Carol, that's what a good one. It's what my hurts. wife. <laughs> what is my wife. She's... Steve and Steve, I think you're both great example of using. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Carol. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I found, I found, um, you know, on a few occasions, I'm not going to say all the time. <laughs> I'm not going to say like this is daily or weekly, maybe monthly, you know, um, a, a nice, a nice shock. You yes. Know, a fork well, like in an outlet, yeah. um, you know, lick a battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or um, try and bring a spider back to life and accidentally or purposefully shock myself. Right. That, that. Exactly. Or a frog. Same, or a turtle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of different amphibians. small animals. Yeah. A amphibians mostly. Birds, mostly amphibians. Possibly, I didn't, small I, I, I do want to make it clear for talking identity. Um, I was not the reason that their hearts were stopped in the first place. So. Uh, I think then a part of my identity is I want to provide life. I want to, you know, I life giving is is an ideal of mine. You know, that right. might be part of my identity that really don't talk about very often. No, no. And again, you know, what do you want the world to see? Do you want to see someone who who, you know, does experiments on small amphibians? Right. Right. Or do you want someone to see you as an attention whore? Fine right. line. Fine I did line. see that comment from my son-in-law, Dustin, and uh, yeah, I mm. would agree with you. I would agree that seeing fight scenes with a Mini Cooper or just seeing a Mini Cooper do the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is potentially mm -hmm. worth it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect. Classic. Um, let's see. Uh, anything else, anything else that you can share identity wise? Learning, well, I wanted, uh, go, I wanted go, to go ask right you ahead. a question. Um, and it, oh, of course it fell right out of my brain, <laughs> Steve. Oh, um, Steve. <laughs> I, I had Typical asked you Steve. before if you, if you dealt with identity theft and, uh, I was curious also, you know, if you weren't the person that you were, if you were, Steve in a in a multiverse, right? In another universe, which we've talked sure. about before on coffee sure. breaks of the the theories of multidimensional right. Various, yeah. Absolutely. Uh who do you think you would be if you had if you had the the trappings of our current society thrown off for whatever reason, maybe zombie apocalypse, right? Yes. And you're the only mm -hmm. one left, so you become whoever you are going to be. What would that look like for you, Steve? Great question, Steve. Thank you, Steve. My, 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 initial, my initial reaction to that is even in a multiverse, um, boy, I just, I want to be Steve. Right? Right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, flying, flying cars, you know, dinosaurs, um, 
you know, any, any, any setting, any surrounding, um, yeah. boy, you know, to have people just go, Hey, there's Steve. There's Steve. Right. Yes. Or, I, I, yeah. Or an astronaut. Or yes. I mean, yeah. Right. I, 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 I do feel, I, I, I think I would struggle with that from my incredible fear of heights, but I do appreciate, um, space flight, NASA. I've, I've always had, as you know, a deep interest in that. Oh, I know, um, Steve. Yeah. I, you know, you, you are, you have, you know, I'm a super nerd. Yeah. Super nerd. Super nerd space right. Flight. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Rick would be Helen Hunt. I can see it. That's an interesting choice. I can interesting see it. choice, but yes, I, I can see it. And I, I support that choice. Yeah, I'm 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 determining between, you know, as good as it gets, Helen Hunt or um what women want, Helen right. Hunt. Um um, you know, Rick the waitress, Rick the businesswoman. Right. Yeah. Or um, or uh pigskin princess. What was the you know the word I don't know. I don't who can say in these troubled times. But um, Rick, hey, you follow, you know, you follow your dreams. I appreciate we Kathy's Kathy's comment there. Um, but I, I also yeah, saw um story. one from my daughter, my daughter Carissa. Oh, Steve, would you try to be a cop again? Yes, that. Or that. yeah, for those who don't know, um, you know, Steve tried to did did uh, attempt to become a, a police officer for the city of Portland um back in the day. Yeah. Um, you know, I obviously had um, uh, some, you know, some shortcomings. It came down to the psych tests and right. you know, that's okay. That's, it's better to know that ahead of time. Know that now, honestly, it came down. I, I, I want to say if memory serves and it always does because my memory is uh, a steel on. vice, it's a steel trap. Spot on. Um, I want to say it came down to the questions of if your mother, they had questions, of course, like if your mother were to commit a crime, would you turn her in? Would you arrest her? And, and, oh, that when it, when it crosses the boundaries into um, personal relationships, it, things get a lot harder. And I, I was honest right. about, I, I would struggle with that. And I think that's where they went, you know what, that got to be able to stick to that no matter right. what, uh, right. that, the justice piece of it. And, and Steve is I, loyal. I, Steve is loyal to a fault. I, Steve is loyal. Let's, I I is loyal. Definitely. We yeah. we is. We is. We, yeah, I'll we, drink to that. We we definitely let's drink to that for sure. Yeah. Everybody yeah. drink. Hmm. Where's Shalan today? I didn't see her on here. Um is there, is you know, I think I think she was I think she was maybe uh, having to do some work today, possibly. Yeah, maybe. She oh. works she works so much. Oh. That yeah, daughter, I've I've, I've heard, I've heard. Yeah, I do ours. see that Carissa is filling in with everybody. Drink. Um, I know Rick sometimes will do that in a very important role. Exactly. Very important role for a a producer of mine. <laughs> so, um, any see, more movies I, about identity? Dustin says. Um, like Dustin. I mean, yeah, throw them out there if you know a, if you know a good movie know, about identity. Yeah. Um, please, please share with the group. We'd love to yeah, hear it. Yeah. Steve would Steve would love it. I I would love it. Steve. Steve would love we, it. We, yes, we, exactly. we do love it. Um we and you know it. we're we're very into the movies, as it were. Um Boy. yeah. Truman uh, uh, Show, yeah. great choice. Great. Great. Yes. Yeah, Manchurian candidate. Thoughts. Um oh Manchurian know. candidate. The original oh. versus the remake, though. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I. I. Yeah. Some good I, I, I'm going Art. for. I'm going for the remake, personally, um, just because of the clarity of the picture. Um, you know. Obviously. Yes, I, mean, I would agree. I think there is a, a certain artisanal aspect to the older films, um, and of course, the acting in the original. Sublime. Uh, yeah. But I, I do think they did a great job with the remake. Really good job. Really good really job. Good Let's job. see. Yeah, uh, Carissa uh, says, oh, uh, uh, Nell. Nell. Uh, oh, cons Nell. This is, yeah. Conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory. Conspiracy right? theory is 
Jaws is a great one about Mrs. Doubtfire. Well. Corian says Mrs. Doubtfire and Psycho both, both, both. very I, and and to some degree interchangeable. Oh, you know, quite I, so. I get them confused. Mrs. Quite Doubtfire so. and, and and Psycho, I, I get them confused. When when um, when when Robin Williams turns around in Mrs. Doubtfire, right, and then, and then when, the, when the we, chair turns we, around we, in Psycho, right, that that I, I, iconic I, music, absolutely, right, I, iconic. I, I dare you to Homicidal. really be able to spot the difference yeah. in those Homicidal two. Homicidal is, uh, is also a classic, uh, really underrated. Uh, I'm sure we've talked about it on here before, so I won't get into it too deep, but uh, classic, classic uh, ripoff in some ways, but its own classic on another level of uh, Psycho slash Jaws. Psycho, yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, man. Oh, the... We could do a whole show, right? We could, we could do a whole Couldn't show. I, I do want to speak about conspiracy theory mm -hmm. uh, for yes. a moment. Uh, that one, I, I know that Mel Gibson is is not necessarily a, a golden boy of Hollywood anymore. He was when it came out. Right. Um, him and uh, Julia Roberts and Patrick Stewart. A lot of people don't think of the fact that he was Patrick also Stewart. in that, that film. Um, and... I got to my family still references black helicopters and I and capture in the rye and it's uh the fact and, that and, and Patrick Stewart saying make it so make it so right? yes yeah and contractually then that has to be in, it, well it's that's what happens when you're a yeah. star captain sometimes there's a lot of changed, a lot of things changed that his identity changed his identity to from Patrick Stewart to the and, guy with no nose noseless patrick noseless stewart. stewart yes yeah exactly beautiful beautiful <sighs> carol carol my beautiful wife says up that is a great one about identity mm -hmm. do you did, right? have you watched up oh we have haven't we, we have. steve we have yes we love the, we love up the identity of the dogs is uh perhaps the biggest challenge in there. Um, right. Obviously, there's the opening scene with the tears and, and the crying, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. whether you want to or not, which I think is a little un-American that they take the choice out of it. But, you know, it, it's very, choices. a very classic tale choices of... Choices have to be made, right? Yeah, very. And, and what I like about that is that it's... Uh, it's... Getting at it's one of the few Hollywood stories uh, that actually gets at identity of an of the older generation, right? Not just the right. dogs, but also the older generation of this man trying to find himself after his identity is removed, right? He was the husband, and now that his wife is gone, trying to figure out who am I? Who am who I am now? I? Right. Again, in into a mirror. Into a store window. Into a store window, right. Into, like, reflected off of various shiny balloons. Exactly. And maybe a waterfall in Peru. Exactly. And, yeah. and, I, and again, I think, you know, I mean, we, we come back. We come back to the same thing, right? Always, Atten always. Attention and that's the thing whore. about identity. Attention that's the thing whore. about identity is it comes back to the core, comes back to the source. And I think that's the key to identifying your identity is eventually those key theme themes are going to come out steve yeah you you said it i did you I did you. we I did we we said it i think yeah. we've said it all today yeah i think we've said it all today um, yeah well yeah boy you've been you've been a great guest today steve Oh, I really, I really appreciate appreciate you coming on today. You know, it's it's different. I I don't think uh, I've ever gotten the experience of being the guest on on coffee breaks. This this was a new a new experience. When I'm I'm very happy to have had, very uh, mm -hmm. grateful to have had. And do, uh, do I do I dare say my identity? Do I dare say the best guest ever? Oh, on on coffee breaks with Steve. Steve, I I won't argue with you on that. I won't argue with you on that. Well, cheers to that, my friend. Hold on. My, me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Steve. Hey, I'm going to ask you to stick around for the rest of the, uh, for the rest of the episode. So, uh, sure, sure. Boy, 
Boy, what a great discussion. Thanks for all the comments uh, with everybody today. Um, um, you know, we're going to talk about uh, things coming up in the next few weeks. Um, next week, uh, the 8th of April is a cover song contest yes. uh, with Celeste Moy will be the guest. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's going to be very exciting. I'm very much looking forward to that. And then on the 15th, um, what's on your bookshelf? A repeat guest that we've had multiple times on Coffee Breaks with Steve, uh, and B. Davis East, um, you know, from Brady Bunch to uh, you know, giving us giving us book ideas. Um, and, uh, you know, who are the authors that you want to, uh, you want to see, you want to read? Always great. Always great when you've got Ann B. Davis East. And then in three weeks, uh, uh, we're going to talk about financial etiquette. Um, how do we tip at restaurants? D delivery drivers, you know, who do splitting a check at the end of a meal. What's the, what's the best way to go about that? Um, you know, who, who, who does what? <laughs> and and who doesn't pay? It let's can be, be it could, that can be, be really awkward if you it just one little faux pas and it feels like it colors the entire experience, right? So, uh, but I'm that saying. one, um, it, correct me if I'm wrong, Steve. There's no guest for that. It's just you, Steve. That's just gonna be Steve. Yeah, that's just gonna be Steve. First just time in a long time not to have a guest. And and long overdue. Let's be honest long overdue um to just have a just have a you know yes. 45 minutes of steve yeah yeah and Boy. you know i'm i'm pretty qualified well you are as well to talk about uh financial etiquette because um not only do have i made money in the past but i also for a while uh about a, a 10 years was the uh pastor at our uh church in Tualatin sure. first community now horizon yes um i was the pastor of a uh, stewardship right so so i had the the joy of talking to a, a church congregation about money which is always a right, right. always an interesting <laughs> conversation to have right so uh, oh. i'm sure i was the favorite pastor but uh it did it taught me a lot and i i uh i feel like i learned a lot of things to be able to then share with all of you so uh, i'm looking forward to that Right, right. And being being, um, uh, you know, a spendthrift. Maybe right, yes. maybe is a good word, maybe a spendthrift, yes. um, uh, a bit frugal, a bit frugal, you know, not cheap, um, cheap. I other, think is, is no, different. no, absolutely never cheap, not. maybe inexpensive. Um, there's there's a no. difference there, you know, that people don't really talk about a world traveler on a budget. Let's just champagne let's just taste on a beer budget. Exactly. You know, as they say. Yeah. 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 Venice taste on a Florence budget. Possibly. Yeah, right, right. Right. So again, guest, thank you so much for coming today. Look forward to seeing of you in course. the next few weeks as we go through those things. Steve, once again, amazing. The insight. And you as well. You as well, Steve. It's it's a real pleasure. I think. I, I hope I get to come back again. I thank you. Not if for anyone, nothing, but this is. Not, I, hey, cheers to that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If anyone has any topics that they'd like to have on Coffee Breaks with Steve, please feel free to uh, to share your ideas. If you want uh, specific guests, someone you're thinking about, uh, something you need or would like to have talked about, um, I'm sure I'll have an opinion on whatever it is um, and not afraid to share it. Um, again, if, if a guest is not required, if, if a guest is not required, all the better, right? Right. right. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone again for coming today. I'm Steve. My I'm guest, Steve. Steve. Thanks again, Steve. My pleasure, as always. Magical, magical. Everybody, have a great day. Have a great week. And once again, like I always say, find a way to make a difference in your world this week. God bless. We'll God see you bless. next week. All right. Take care, everyone. Ever the ever the and that's all, folks.